Hello, my very most beautiful Aquarius. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your January, kind of February weekly reading. This is going to go from the 31st through the 6th. Now it is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. In everything that you guys need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aquarius' energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, happy birthday, my beautiful Aquarius. I hope you guys all have an amazing, happy, healthy, and safe birthday season, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on for you guys. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse. The High Priestess. Ten of Wands. Page of Swords. Something's been on your head a lot lately. Um, it does kind of feel like to me you guys could be having some regrets when it comes to something here some kind of partnership here there yeah there could be no communication i don't feel like there's something here that you guys have been really in your head about i do feel like a part of you guys really want to um you know step out of this energy it does kind of feel like to me that you guys want to either heal something here okay you guys want to heal something here you want to start communicating again feeling really left out in the cold three of pentacles to me you know it's a card like working together it's like you know a part of you feels like you guys can still work on this that you still want to work on this you know really unhappy without this person ten of cups in the reverse having some regrets here you have the five of swords in the reverse that can be a card of remorse and the high priestess card you know um to me, this could be you, one, getting in touch with your intuition um, when it comes to a situation, or like a deep knowing um, when it comes to this situation, when it comes to this person. Um, it's also, she sees the beginning, middle, and end of every situation. I feel like that's something that you guys are doing. You guys are kind of reflecting back beginning, middle, and the end um, of the situation. There's some things that have happened within the situation or in the connection that you guys are having some regrets about. Um, you know, just I wish I would have done this or I wish I would have said that or, you know, maybe would have, could have, should have energy. Leo had a very similar energy, so you guys could be dealing with Leo or you guys could have Leo in your chart. Um, but they had a very similar energy as well. But I just do feel, I feel like that, you know, like the what ifs and, you know, the would have, could have, should have is really weighing on you here. I feel like you're really spending a lot of time thinking about this person. They're really on your mind. Some of you guys could be even be like, you know, watching their social media or something like that. Um... And it's just making, you just have a lot of regrets when it comes to this person, okay? Feeling pretty lost without them, really wanting to work on things here. We have the five of pentacles and the three of pentacles together, make the eight of pentacles, really, you know, wishing that you could kind of go back and put all this energy into it. And the four of swords here, so I definitely feel like you guys would like to heal things. You're definitely really in your head about this, okay? Feeling lost without them. Let's go ahead and get, take a look at their energy towards you and see what is going on with that. And then we're going to pull some cards from another deck about what you don't see coming in this situation. Ooh, the cards are getting flipped around. All right. Seven of swords in the reverse. So to me, that can be an apology or just stopping getting in one's own way. The eight of cups. Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. They have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of their deck. Let's see what's all flipped around here. All right. So you get the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Four of Swords in the reverse, Ten of Swords in the reverse, Five of Swords. So the they're having some regrets as well when it comes to this ending, either the way that things ended or why things ended or just that it ended in general. Five of swords in the reverse, ten of swords in the reverse. You know, I do feel like they're having some regrets when it comes to this four of swords in the reverse. They could want to kind of, you know, um, come out of this period of no communication with you as well, but I don't necessarily see them reaching out. But the nine of swords, they're really in their head. Maybe they're in their head about whether they should reach out or not. Some of them could want to apologize or want an apology from you, one of the two. Um, it kind of feels like they have their own regrets when it comes to the situation. In a lot of ways, I feel like you guys are mirroring each other. 
Okay, because I feel like they have some regrets too. You know, this is very similar to the Leo reading. So if you guys, if this is resonating strongly with you, um, and especially if you're dealing with the Leo or you have Leo placements, I would check out their reading as well. Um, Eight of Cups energy, Four of Wands energy. Let's take a look at this. So I feel like they're very unhappy as well. You have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. They have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Neither one of you are happy with where things are at in this situation. I definitely feel like they, um, you have a lot on your mind here, Aquarius, and I feel like they do too. They, there is something here where they, they want to apologize, especially if they were the ones that walked away. I feel like they could be wanting to apologize for that. You know, I do feel like they still um, have some hopes in this. Okay, we're gonna take a look and see what they don't see, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. We got the Strength card in the reverse. We got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Five of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Hey Man in the reverse. Ten of Wands in the reverse. All right, so let's take a look here. So something's definitely going to be able to be released here. Okay, that's something I'm noticing right away. I just kind of feel like to me that there could be some cooperation. There could definitely be someone, you know, kind of like either unblocking or lowering their defenses. And a lot of things that have happened between the two of you, especially it appears to be like the negative things and negative aspects um, that have happened between the two of you could very well be being released. Ten of Wands in the reverse the hangman in the reverse okay being able to let a lot go at this time the seven of wands in reverse can be a card of lowering the defenses um somebody could be having some doubts as to um you know why things didn't work in the first place we have the five of wands in the reverse that can be a card of cooperation of getting along working together the queen of swords in the reverse ten of swords in the reverse Sometimes the Ten of Swords in Reverse can talk about something that's being very drug out. Um, and the Queen of Swords in Reverse can talk about, you know, needing to, you know, open up to things here. It's kind of, it can be too closed off energy. The Strength in the Reverse. No longer holding back. I do feel like somebody here is going to be choosing to reach out. Somebody here is going to be choosing to no longer hold back their, their thoughts and their feelings. They kind of want to, you know, move on. They want to cooperate. They want to be able to release whatever this negativity is that is between the two of you or whatever these, you know, whatever's happened here between the two of you. Um, but it could take somebody else needing to really lower their defenses here. Okay, really, you know, open up to the possibility of it here. But I definitely feel like, you know, this person's really on your mind. And I definitely think you guys are both, um, you know, in a lot of ways you guys are mirroring each other. This isn't exactly the same as Leo's reading. Okay, but there's a lot of similar energies. I do feel like it is possible, but there's a lot of stuff that's happened between the two of you, and I do feel like some of that is going to need to be released. And I feel like um, at least one of you is really willing to do so. Um, but that is kind of what I'm seeing for you guys. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can actually resonate more than your sun sign does. Now, guys, if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.